Okay, so we're going to make hot chocolate. So in this big pot here, I'm just going to pour some regular 2% milk. <coughs> Pardon me. You can use whole milk if you choose, or skim milk, whichever. Whatever you normally drink. We normally drink 2%. So I'm going to add about half a gallon. about a half a gallon. Now I'm going to warm this milk on low and I'm not going to add anything to it until I get it all warmed up. To me it seems to blend better that way. So I'm going to cover it up and I'm going to turn it on low. About two actually. Well no, I better put it on about one. Okay, so while that warms up I'm going to get a few other things done and I'll be back. Okay, so now my milk is warmed up. Let's see if I can hold my camera without messing up here. So I'm going to add <clears throat> a little over a half of a cup of just regular cocoa powder, whatever you have. I just happen to have Hershey's here, so that's the one I'm using. Oops, I made a mess with it any old way. See there? Again, it's a little over a half a cup is what I start with. And I say start with because I usually seem to add a <laughs> more, so depends on how chocolatey you want it to. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place with the camera and not really paying any attention to that. And then you just mix it really good. I use a uh, whisk, best way to get it all blended, where it's not powdery and you don't come across powdery clumps. You will have some milk on the on the bottom, depending on how quickly you warm it and if you stir it. Now I've stirred mine so I don't have like that layer on the bottom, but you can have, not necessarily that you will have, you can have. I recommend just stirring it frequently while it's warming up. And then you don't have that layer of scorched milk on the bottom because that's basically what you're doing is scorching the milk warming it up and I'm not a chef I'm just a cook and I'm a cook for my family and sometimes for friends okay so now that I got that all blended up I'm gonna eyeball it and add some sugar so that's gonna be I don't like like that co that cacao flavor that's not what I like I like a milk chocolate flavor so I'll add, starting with about three quarters of a cup of sugar. So that was a half. And that was a little more than three quarters of a cup. <laughs> uh, that's alright though. And then, after I get that blended up really good and not stuck on the bottom, um, I'll reduce it to simmer from the low setting. I'll reduce it to simmer. It's kind of noisy, isn't it? Lay that off to the side again. We'll reduce to simmer and let it set covered up with your lid. Just stirring often. And then once that all kind of cooks together, and I don't know that cooks is the right word to use, but once it all blends together and warms up really good, then taste it with a spoon and see if, if you like it sweeter, add more sugar. If you like it more chocolatey, add more um, cocoa powder. Okay, so now I've added another, oh, eighth of a cup of or so of the cocoa powder and then mm, between a quarter and a half of a cup of sugar and that's about the well it's not about it's exactly the the consistency that we like it as far as flavor goes um, we like it not too sweet but not not really cocoa-y but it does taste cocoa-y does that make any sense probably not 
you get the cocoa flavor, but it's not a cacao flavor. You know, the dark chocolate or the powdery chocolate flavor. It's a sweetness to it. It's kind of like a milk chocolate, because that's what it is. Anyway, that's what I've done. So I'm going to cover it up, leave it on simmer for a little while, and then serve. And when I say a little while, I mean probably well, 20 minutes or so, and then it'll be ready for me to put in a cup and enjoy. Here's a little tip about hot chocolate. If you get it too sweet or too chocolatey, just add more milk. That's all you have to do. Uh, you want to whisk it in or temper it. Like get some in, in a glass and then take a little bit of your hot, um, hook, your hot chocolate mixture. Put it in with the milk to bring the milk to a warmer temperature. And then you can pour the milk into the pan. But if you get it, you know, too chocolatey or too sweet, all you have to do is add milk. Don't throw it out. All right. So that's it. I'm going to be back in just a little bit with my whipped topping and show you what it looks like on my hot chocolate. See you guys in a while. Okay, I hope you can see what I'm doing here. There is my hot chocolate with the whipped topping on top the rest of it in there. And if you'd like, there is a Hershey's chocolate mint candy cane that's out. You can garnish it with that also. And there's my hot chocolate. Delicious.